Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the different types of topologies. So the bus topology, ring topology, mesh topology, star topology and hybrid topologies. So that means how to arrange, how many ways we can arrange the systems in a network. Right. Now in this session we will go with the one more concept that is OSI layers. So OSI layers means OSI means open system interconnect which was developed by ISO that is international standard organization. So this was created a seven layer architecture seven layer architecture which is used to transmit data from one system to another. Right? So all these layers collaboratively works for transmission of data from one system to another system. So this is the main advantage of connecting the systems in a network. So in the uh, in the earlier sessions, uh, we have seen that uh, the main purpose of creating a network is resource sharing and the data sharing. So that means the data can be transferred from one system to another system. And that process will be done with the help of this seven layer architecture. So in this session, we will see what are the uh, uh, this seven layer architecture and in the next next session we will go with one by one All right. now we will see the seven layer architecture so first one is the physical layer Data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer. Presentation layer and finally application layer. See, these are the seven layer architecture which was developed by ISO. Right. So here each and every layer is having its own functionality. So for transmitting a data from one system to another system, the data should be covered in all these seven layers see first so just uh, i will give you a brief uh, idea about all these layers and from the next session we will go with one one layer in each session right coming to the physical layer it gives a physical medium to transfer bits that means here the data will be in a form of bits right so this is, this is the in the physical layer the bits will be transferred and in the data link layer those bits will be changed to frames so here error free frames will be transferred or transmitted right so here the error free check will be done 
in this data link layer so some cyclic redundancy check and everything handling code so those things will be done error free techniques will be applied for the bits and then those will be converted as a frames and these frames will be transmitted from one system to another system and coming to this network layer these frames will be again converted into packets so packets will be moved from source to destination so in the network layer the packets will be created and these packets will be moved from source to destination right so See, that means a routing will be done here. The packets will be routed from source to destination. So here the data will be in terms of packets. Now transport layer. So here using protocols, reliable messages will be transferred. So with the help of protocols, these packets will be transferred, right? A reliable messages will be transferred. And in the session layer, the name itself indicates a session means at some uh, time period, we call it as a session. So here, establishing and terminating of sessions will be created. In order to communicate from one system to another system, some connection will be established. So, establishing or termination of sessions will be created in this session layer. And here, see, before sending the data, or uh, some, I mean, uh, the data will be encoded, either compressed, or we can use uh, some security applications like encryptions and decryptions. So all these things will be applied in this presentation layer. So here the data compression encoding or encryption. So the data compressions, so before sending the messages or before receiving the messages, the data can be compressed or uh, can be encoded or can be encrypted for security purposes and for achieving the authentication and all these things. So the data will be, so, so some things, uh, uh, some techniques will be applied on the data. So that means be the compression, encoding or de encryption. Similarly, while receiving the data, that will be decompressed or decoded or decrypted. So all these things will be done in this presentation layer. In the application layer, various services will be provided directly to the user. Various services will be provided directly to the users. So this is all about our uh, seven layer architecture that is OSI layers which was developed by ISO in 1984. So while transmitting the data from one system to another system that can be done with the help of all these seven layers. So physical layer, uh, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and application layer. So first the, uh, the complete data will be in terms of bits that means either zeros or ones. So that will be done in this physical layer. And coming to this data link layer by adding some headers and tail, uh, tail uh, the bits will be converted as a frames and some error free techniques will be applied here so that uh, there, there, there is no error while transmitting the messages or receiving the messages. So that will be done in this data link layer and those frames will be transmitted from source to destination. And coming to the network layer, again the frames will be converted into packets and these packets will be routed from source to destination systems. 
and coming to the transport layer so in in the network if we if the data want to be transmitted that could, that could, should be done through the protocol so usage of all these protocols will be done here and by using this protocol the reliable messages will be transferred one uh, transferred from one system to another system and coming to the session layer here so before sending the messages the connection should be established and after sending the messages the connection should be disconnected so all these connection establishments and uh, terminations everything will be done in this session layer right so presentation layer so before sending or before receiving some sort of uh, things to, to be applied on the data so that is the data compressions or encodings or uh, encryptions will be done so similarly data decompressions and uh, decoding and uh, decryption so the if the if the data is compressed at the receiver side the data should be decompressed before receiving the message and similarly if the data is encoded at the sender side so the uh, data should be decoded at the receiver side the, similarly if data is encrypted at the uh, sender side the data should be decrypted before uh, receiving the messages so all these things will be done in the presentation layer and coming to the application layer so services will be directly provided to the user right so this is all about the osi layers a seven layer architecture so hope you understood uh, all these things so let us stop here from the next session we will elaborate uh, each and every layer so in the further sessions right so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, previous concepts and uh, today's uh, seven layer architecture so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also if you want to support our channel so join as a member to our channel and get some extra benefits than the regular users and uh, regular viewers right so don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much